Well, switching gears now, we turn to our ABC7 special coverage of Super Bowl 47. And tonight, we have a closer look at the long road of recovery in New Orleans. We're talking seven and a half years after Hurricane Katrina now. Our Brad Bell reported in Louisiana after the storm. He's live outside the Superdome now with more on how the Super Bowl game showcases this recovery really to an international audience, right, Brad? Yeah, well, that's what they're hoping. You know, the Superdome itself was one of the real symbols of the heartache of Katrina. It was high ground. People took refuge here. The building was badly damaged. Now, it has been completely refurbished. And as you said, that is the message from the people who market this town, who love this town. They say New Orleans is really starting to boom. On August 31st, 2005, 80% of New Orleans was underwater, as deep as 15 feet. Mark Dana's Lakeview neighborhood was among the hardest hit. We had three inches of water upstairs. From the crest of the road, you standing, you would be standing in 11.9 feet. Days later, ABC7 was there as he and other homeowners were allowed back in for the first time. It was a chaotic scene. We went along on washed up boats as people went looking for missing relatives or just to see the damage done. It's a surreal, horrible feeling paddling through these neighborhoods. These branches are actually the tops of trees. It was like that for miles in all directions. Seven years later, I remember shooting that vignette very, very well. I was right here. I had paddled that small boat into this neighborhood, and it was up there at the corner of this house where I was pulling myself along by the gutter. It was hard for your mind to, to take all of this stuff in. Dana's home, like all the others, was ruined, but he vowed to rebuild. It was like the Wild West living out here the, fir the first year. I think we stayed in a FEMA trailer for 18 months. There are still many empty lots, but after years of delay, construction is booming. Super Bowl organizers and city leaders in New Orleans say they want to spread the word. We really believe that uh, this is uh, telling the world that New Orleans is back and it's back stronger than ever. Dana says after all the suffering, he too hopes visitors notice the new vitality. I think it's great that they're going to see that. Man, come, come, come visit us. All in one of their own. Well, we hear that from a lot of people. They want people to come down. They want people to come and spend their money. Now, coming up at 6, we're going to take a look at a different part of town, the Lower Ninth Ward. Things there are moving a little more slowly. In New Orleans, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News. All right, thanks, Brad. Those pictures are very welcome sights, aren't yeah, they? definitely.